What up, YouTube? It's Nick Jensen again with another Clash of Clans episode. Today, it is episode 4, and as you can see, my elixir storage is full, and my gold is almost full. So, um, I'm gonna try to, I guess, get my level up, and... I'm gonna do one. Oh, I'm only gonna do one raid this episode, and then uh, I'm gonna do a review on somebody's base. So um, here comes the raid. <sighs> mm, not enough. I'm gonna go for like the twenty thousand gold so I could get my gold full. Oh, that's a huge amount of resources but obviously my troops can't handle that so we'll skip that that's a farmer's base and can't no um no Let's see no way Jose way too little resources uh yeah, I think this one will be good. So, we'll head out for this one. Let's try to break through this wall with some barbs. While we're at it, might as well just play some archers. And, uh, also thanks to, um, Aaron for giving me this wizard that I will put out in just a little bit. Um, here's the wizard. And, um, I want to give a huge shout out to him. He gave me a level 3 wizard, which helps out huge. And, um, wizards do a lot of damage. It's just that they take 10 minutes, which I'm not waiting for. And I can't even get it yet. I mean, look at that. Look at this thing. It's going ham. Look at this. Mortar's done. I mean... Look at this town hall getting even destroyed. Um, I don't think we're gonna win, but we did get a lot of gold. It's almost full. Just 9,000 more. And, uh, so we're, we're gonna go review one of my friend in our clan. One of my friends in the clan. And, again, join the Northwood 2. Okay, so... Here's the clan name, and I am going to review Percy. Percy's a great guy. He's always donating. Um, I'd say for his base, the only thing he needs to work on is his intersections right here, where these should be level six. So he should like swap this level six and that, and instead, actually, instead of having level 6 walls, I didn't work on getting level all level 5 walls instead of starting to work on level 6. Um, I mean, look, you, you gotta even upgrade these to level 5. I mean, you got level 1s and level 2s, some level 3s. Um, like I said, you shouldn't really use a giant bomb unless you have a tons of gold lying around. Spell factor is good. Um, I like, I really like on how all of his buildings are not like just out in the open. Most of his buildings, his defenses can kill whatever's whoever's trying to uh, attack him. Like this archer tower can destroy everything out here, so that would really help. This cannon destroy out here. I really like that. Um. I guess the only thing I would have to say is um, just work on the walls and um, yeah and work on the walls and uh, maybe instead of the giant bomb here like or not even the giant bomb like you could t move these two air bombs and put like this one over here or something like right next to the builder's hut so then they're spread out. If a dragon attacks from, or a balloon attacks from this side, you'll also have an air bomb over here, and not just use two right there. 
Um, besides that, everything's very good. Um, everything is very well. Um, he's got level 10 collectors. And, uh, yeah, you're good with your mines and your pumps on how they're close together in their levels. Um, like you have level 9s and level 10s. 10s, 9s, and 8s. Two sevens. Um, it's a really good base for a level six. Um, it's very, very good. Um, and that's really it. It's a very good base. The only thing is, is the walls. If you get those walls upgraded, it'll be a very good base and very hard to stop. So, um, good, uh, good job, Percy. And just work on those walls. So, if you guys, any of you guys who watch this, want to um, me do a base review, just tell me in the comments. And besides that, like, comment, and subscribe. So, see ya.